Indeed, the youth have supported the encouraging signals that I have mentioned earlier. Encouraging signals from outside have given us the assurance that the future is good. Nigeria has been gathering political cloud within the last few years. The role that Nigeria has been playing in West Africa has given every Tom, Dick and Harry anywhere in the world that Nigeria is surely giving the right lead to the Africans and indeed to, the, to all black people in the whole world. We know very well what Nigeria has done in Liberia. Nigeria has been responsible for the return of democracy in Liberia. Nigeria has been responsible for restoring the democratically elected leader in Sierra Leone. Nigeria has encouraged other West African countries to return to democracy. There is no elected leader in West Africa that has not come to Nigeria to give thanks to our head of state. Kereku of Benin, immediately after his inauguration, came to Nigeria to see General Sal Abacha and to thank him for the support he gave him during his election. Even Rodin's of Ghana, after his election, came to Nigeria to consult with the head of state and to thank him for his support. My Nakara of Niger Republic did the same. He came to Nigeria and he discussed with Sana Bacha and thanked him for the support he gave him. Similarly, Idris Dabi of Chad did the same. No sooner after he had been inaugurated, he came to Nigeria. Yes, Yahya Jame of Gambia came to Nigeria soon after he had been inaugurated. All these African leaders were democratically elected and it was Nigeria that supported them to be so democratically elected. Nigeria, therefore, under the leadership of General Sana Abacha, has been supporting countries to return to democracy. Nobody, therefore, should doubt the sincerity of Nigeria under the leadership of Sana Abacha in saying that it will return the country to democracy. The political program has been on course. The political program has been on course. And nobody will doubt the integrity of General San Abacha. His sincerity cannot be faulted. We are returning this country to democracy under San Abacha. Yes, General San Abacha is determined to return this country to democracy. But it is not enough. We say here in Nigeria that it is not just enough to return the country to democracy. We want durable democracy. We want democracy that will last. We, want, we do not want short-lived democracy. This time around, when democracy comes, we want it to last, and to last forever. Democracy will last forever in Nigeria and I can assure you that steps are being taken to ensure the durability of democracy in Nigeria. A durable democracy can only be built on sound economy. General Sana Abacha has been taking steps to ensure sound economy in Nigeria. For a long time, we have known that the one sector of our economy that has been responsible for our economic woes is the banking sector. Previous governments had been unable to take steps against that sector because 
highly placed untouchable sacred cows were involved in the racketeering that was going on in the banking sector. Previous governments were therefore reluctant to take any action against such people. General Sana Abacha summoned courage and took decision and today he has sanitized the banking sector and with the economic monitoring committee Sana Abacha is also, is also bringing back the economy to a sound footing.